What's up guys, Banner here, and today we'll be playing Life is Strange Before the Storm, well, another episode of it. Uh, I'm sorry I haven't been uploading guys, I've just felt like, I just haven't been really wanting to record recently, so, and also, I am so sorry that I wasn't able to upload the video, um, to YouTube about yesterday at Blackpool. <sighs> what happened? What, was I what happened? Went for sleep. Oh yeah, this is the part where we're in the car. Sorry, guys. Hasn't anyone ever told you not to fall asleep with a lit cigarette? You could start a fire. Ash would have fell off. The ash would have fell off. So, are you gonna invite me in? Or what? Mm. I don't know. I'm not supposed to give rides to strangers. What if I promise you free candy? Hop in. Damn, you've been busy. It's nothing. Just some junk I found lying around. A rainbow towel? A freaky red light? Holy shit. The all-seeing eye. <laughs> Figured it can't hurt to have the Illuminati on our side for whenever shit goes down. Always thinking ahead. Chloe, this is incredible. I, I can't believe you found us an escape vehicle already. I hope. <laughs> That's the hope. But it doesn't exactly drive yet. You'll figure it out. And while you're at it, we're also gonna need some money. <laughs> you know, to buy stuff. Uh-huh. Yeah. Car and money? <laughs> Anything else you'd like? Yeah. Luckily, there's no rush. True. And no Blackwell. <sighs> Holy shit. <laughs> that Wells meeting. I'm so sorry. I can't believe he actually expelled you. <laughs> Why not? No reason to prolong the inevitable. It's definitely Blackwell's loss. You covering for me was amazing. I don't know how to thank you. <sighs> Whatever. You tried to cover for me too. Tried and failed. <laughs> I guess we know who the better liar is. Or maybe my lie was the one he wanted to believe. At least Wells has no idea what really went down with us last night. Yeah. Shit got pretty wild. Pretty wild? Rachel, that was more than pretty wild. You went absolutely nuts last night. What the hell were you thinking? I was angry. I didn't expect the whole stupid park to go whoosh. But now you're in on it too. Accessory after the fact. Unless you tell on me, of course. I'm no snitch. <laughs> I'd be way happier going to jail than having to live at home with Dick Tater David. He announced his plans to move in this morning. Oh, Chloe, that's awful. I'm so sorry. You know what we both could use? <laughs> Therapy. Therapy. You start. Kick back and tell me what's bothering you. Sorry guys, I am talking. I just thought I wanna, um, what's it called, um, interrupt these guys talking. Well, Doc. Talking. There's this dildo with a mustache who's been dating my mom and now he thinks... <sighs> He's... Moving in with us. How do I stop him? Hmm. That's a hard one. 
I'm not sure there's really anything you can do. Then what the hell am I talking to you for? Just because you can't stop him doesn't mean you don't fight back. The resistance begins now. Alright. You're going to need a new nickname to mark your enemy. What have you got? He's a step fuck. Because he's a stupid fucking fuck. Poetic. May I also suggest stepladder? Why stepladder? Because he climbs on your mom every night. Ew! And pretty soon, they'll be stepping down the aisle. What the hell kind of therapist are you? Sorry. It's called shock therapy. Highly controversial. I've been booted from school, and I'm not entirely sure what to do about it. You mean how to cope with your feelings of anger and disappointment? No. I mean how to express my feelings of intense joy. Uh-huh. Do you think you might be taking this a little too well? You tell me. I'd say I'm exceptionally well-adjusted. I'd bet my therapist's license that no one's ever called you that before. <laughs> Touché, Doc. I'm not gonna talk that about that was that might actually take my, somewhat uh, therapeutic. Relationship. Thank you. Down. It's always a pleasure delving into the mind of Chloe Price. Yeah. And now it's your turn. Tell me all about what it's like being daughter of Arcadia Bay's most famous scumbag. It sucks. Too blunt? Sorry. I do that sometimes. Nah, I'm just... Ugh, I don't know. Need to go get a drink, guys, soon. Can we talk about something else? Whatever. Of course. You choose. Also, guys, I won the Mia Cat. Well... Hey. I also won you two ever Mia tried cats, picturing guys? what Principal Wells does when I he's not at school? Sergey. I see, like, a bed covered in and teddy bears, and he's tying a little necktie around each one. And That's the young, weird. Um, meerkat. I'm a weirdo. It was a rocker. Sergey's my favorite out of them, though. He is vice president of IT. Do you think I don't know what there's a point when you've been though. acting so much that you don't even have your own personality anymore? You're just whatever you think other people want you to be. I think you have a personality. I wasn't talking about me. My dad doesn't really exist. You saw him in Wells' office. The whole thing is a performance. And now I'm starting to feel like everything in my life is bullshit. But he's still my dad. How can I make sure I don't end up like him? You're not like him. You couldn't be like him even if you wanted to. You're too awesome. The fact that you believe this that is an makes me feel better. Of Mia Kova in London. Shit. It's time for the play. As if my life didn't have enough drama in it. Good luck. You know you're never supposed to tell an actor good luck before a show? It's, it's bad, luck. bad luck. How is telling someone good luck bad luck? You're supposed oh, to say, break a leg. That's dumb. Break a leg. And then you hey, probably break a leg. I, I was thinking that after the show, maybe we could go do something. Just you and me. Something criminal? Criminally fun. <laughs> I'm in. Yeah. Wait, you forgot your bag. It's for you. Just a little survival kit for your new life on the lamb. Drive safe, Chloe. Hey, thanks. Thanks. <clears throat> hmm. Ooh, milk tea. Got these. Got some milk tea, for guys. Oh, give dab lollies and some milk tea. Right, I think we're gonna go this time, though. 
but completely <laughs> remember how to. Hello, Junk but, Shack. Yeah. I'm gonna have a teeth. I'm gonna have a tooth. No, there, there will always. By the way, guys, if you have never tasted Joseph Dobson's lollies before, you need <laughs> to get some. Time to check out away. Rachel Amber's it mystery bag. So nice. I know. Just going through all this. Steph says you're a nerd. I'm something from. Right, let's have a look in here. And by the way, guys, I suggest getting um, blue raspberry or black currant. They yes, I need those. Really nice. But you're welcome to try whatever ones you want. <laughs> Nothing like an abandoned shack in the middle of a junkyard to make a girl feel like exploring a new wardrobe. Hmm, turret tower. Plus axle. Let's go for the bonus outfits. Oh, right, no. I could go for hot. No, 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 no! I want to go for the hawk thing. What, what did I accidentally use? Put on. No, this isn't Chloe's style. No. This isn't Chloe's style. Let's go for school. That war fast, fast, fast school. I'm having some teeth, guys. Milk teeth. They're lovely. Try some. If you love this song, is it? No, it's pain. Mm. I'm going for a tower. Don't think I've wore that yet. Alright. Okay, I'll go for this one. That's it. Let's go then. Let's go see Frank. There is. That's the woman we saw with Rachel's dad. Weird. Yo, Frank. It's Chloe. I don't know the secret password, man. Is the password drugs? Price, get your ass in here. 
Yes, it looks to be. <laughs> Dude, it smells like piss in here. Shut up. You have a rough night or something? Every night's a rough night. I've got a notebook in the back somewhere. Go get it for me, would you? Who is that woman? Ah! Ah! God. Jeez, man. Get my notebook, Price. Then we'll talk. Now I'm fed. things for Frank. How low can I go? So Frank's a fellow survivor of Black Hell. Who knew? A betting slip. Twelve hundred dollars? Way out of my league. Fight the power. Beans. That's an insane amount of beans. Bomb sauce. For the man who enjoys searing pay with his drive through <laughs> What does Frank really need to remember? Yes, Frank subscribes to the hiding in plain sight philosophy of drug stashing. Well, I'm not gonna check it. Wait, be really Frank got a puppy? For real? Ah, oh, man. Rachel the therapist what? would have a field day with this. What? One second! Alright, so we go. Shit. The mill burned down. Jeez. That's an expensive dog. One second, guys. Let me pause the game. I'll be back in a second.
Sorry guys, my mom just wanted to know something. Right. Um Right, oh yeah, we have to go get Let's have a look what's in the fridge. Frank must be spending hundreds of dollars on this dog. Beans and beef. That's all this dog eats, beans and beef. Wow. A swingy, flippy instrument of death. Yeah. That's probably the notebook Frank wants. I just want to look at everything. Wow. That pillow is definitely dead. A throne fit for Frank. Because Frank finally gave up on the stake. Frank and his BFF. That's adorable. Is this what I think it is? Glad I paid that off. Time to find out what Frank wants to discuss. Is this it? Have a seat. Pompadou, huh? That's one badass name for a dog. It's French. Does it mean, like, tough guy or something? Do I look like I speak fucking French? Okay, so who was that woman? What woman? The one I saw coming out of your RV. Oh yeah, I meant to introduce you. Her name is Mind Your Own Fucking Business. Rachel would want to know more. I bet I can convince Frank it's harmless to tell me. Dude, I'm just curious. Right. What's the big deal? Idiot. I make money by being discreet. It's not like you signed a confidentiality agreement. You can be less discreet this one time. Nope. I protect my clients. Happy customers are the foundation of a good business. Hey, so... Uh, I had this dream the other night about a cloud that swallowed Arcadia Bay. You too? See? We're a lot alike, Frank. We've got shit in common. Sure, I guess. So why are you so hung up on this chick? Jeez, Frank. So sensitive. You guys got a thing uh, going? Mixing business with pleasure? So, are you gonna tell me who that Christ, was? Christ, you ever shut up? I'm not telling you anything, okay? Uh... You don't have to be rude about it. Two damn seconds of peace and quiet is all I want. <sighs> okay. Okay. I'm good now. You hear the mill burn down? Yeah. I, uh... Heard some stuff about it. Crazy. My friend Damon runs the place. He lost a lot of money last night. Money from what? Well, he's always had a few things going on. I help him out with some of them. Don't drown me in the details, Frank. Lately, he's been doing some stuff that I don't like. But I don't seem to have much leverage with him like I once had. Anyway, you and I have shit to discuss. I've got a little job for you. Open my notebook. Last page. Should be some entries for a kid named Drew. You know him? Yeah. Drew North? Y yeah, he's... Holy shit. That's a lot of money. Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Apparently football players eat it like candy. That's smart, I guess. It pays well? Go Bigfoots. Problem is, Drew owes a grant, and he's not answering my calls. You know what's going on with them? We never talked. No, I never talked to him. Or his type. 
No one's just a type, Price. Anyway, here's the job. I'm taking you to Blackwell. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Can you handle that? Yep. What's in it for me? Yeah, of course. But what's in it for me? Free pop. I'll give you a 10% cut of the money. Wait, what? Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll do quid. it. Yeah. What's the matter? It might be a little tough. I, I'm not supposed to be at Blackwell. I got expelled this morning. Congratulations. Still easier for you to go on campus than for me. If you can't even do this price... A hundred dollars closer to leaving Arcadia Bay. With a bit of cash and the truck fixed, Rachel and I could really do it. We could leave for good. Yep. I'll do it. Good deal. be back this soon. Yep. Well, here goes nothing. Better hurry up and get into the dorms. Hi, Steph. Now that I'm gone, Steph might be the coolest person left at Blackwell. Besides Rachel, obviously. Nova. Hey, Steph. Whoa. Hey, Calamastia. Surprised to see me on parole? I told you Wells was out to get you. That text was a rare courtesy, by the way. I don't normally get involved in other people's dumb decisions. Thanks for trying, but skipping yesterday was totally worth it. Skipping with Rachel Amber does have an appeal. Well, yeah. So what are you doing here? I'm just picking up something from uh, somebody. It's for a friend. Now I'm really curious. What are you doing? What's all this stuff? I'm prepping for the Tempest show tonight. I'm the stage manager. Hey. Oh, right. Uh, I think I knew that. Honestly, the show's really good. It's worth seeing. I'm sure it is. Obviously, Rachel's fantastic, but everyone else is pretty impressive, too. You yep. get to see a totally different side of everyone, especially the guys. Okay, I'm intrigued. Okay. I'm intrigued. Go I'm on. Sure, like, Hayden's um, so annoying, Rachel but when he Ashton puts on that crown, anyway. he's actually very princely. And Nathan is Caliban? <laughs> There's so much depth there. Right. Depth. Yeah, well, good luck with all of that. <laughs> Maybe I'll see you later. Oh, hey, I wanted to ask you something. Shoot. I've been planning to make a move on Rachel, but not if you two were together. Make a move? So, are you? Uh... I mean, that's Rachel's business. Or maybe yours and Rachel's business. But if you feel comfortable telling me... I'm not sure. Uh, 
sure. I'm... Uh, I, I don't know. It's... It's... Confusing. <laughs> yeah, I, I can imagine. You ever want to talk to me, Chloe? You know you can, right? I'll yeah. see you later, Steph. Have fun storming the castle. Yeah. Locked. William. Figures. Looks like my options are become a master lock picker or swipe someone's keys. Such a nice white door. Though, it feels nice work, Samuel. Bingo. If only those keys were unsupervised. What's Samuel working on? Uh, the sprinklers? Break one. All right, let's get a shovel or something. Evan's subject for the day. Better you than me, bird. If Samuel's working on the sprinklers, some damage here might get his attention. But Evan is right there. Oh. That's how we scare the bird away. Sorry, bird, but. Hey! Shit! I wanted you to go the other way. Like, as far as possible, the other way. Bonito. Time for a fresh start. Here we go. Bye. Bye, little birdie. Perfect. Gotcha. Oh, perfect. Me and Evan. Is You're welcome. Samuel isn't, though, because he has to fix his sprinklers. Pardon me. Smash. Awesome. Now I just have to wait for Samuel to turn on the... <laughs> that works. Killing just smashes his into sprinkler. Or we could just swipe the keys and move. Alright, first, let's graffiti. Such a nice white door. Putting, ha ha! You've outsmarted me. The squirrel piece offering, or squirrels. <laughs> Sorry, Samuel. <coughs> All right, time to find Drew's room. No time like the present. Chloe? <laughs> hey, Skip. 
how's it going? Not that it isn't great to see you and all, but what are you doing here? Didn't you just get expelled? No. Visiting a friend? Relax. I'm just uh, visiting a friend. I, I can't. I, I really can't just let you go in. Come on, Skip. I break the rules, and you think it's awesome. Let me break this rule. For old time's sake. I want to, Chloe. But I really can't. I'm going inside, dude. You're just gonna have to let this slide. I don't think I can. In fact, I think I have to ask you to state your official business or else vacate Blackwell property. I hate to do this to Skip, but I've got to get inside. Maybe if I make him really uncomfortable, he'll feel guilty and let me pass. Oh no, this is the map. What's my official business? I'm going to the bathroom. Is that what you wanted to hear? Is that interesting to you? What? No. No, it's my job to ask, Chloe. That's not cool, Skip. You realize that, right? Ah, oh, brilliant. Lost it. Chloe, I just have this feeling like you're up to... Wait. You talked me into letting you into the bathroom this morning, and then you tagged the entire friggin' place. What? No, I... I... Uh, uh, fuck it. I totally did that. Wells raked me over the coals for that. Uh, time to go. Or what? What are you gonna do, Skip? Because unless you're prepared to drag me off this campus, I'm going inside. Chloe, enough. This is my job. Just go. You have never respected me. You and all your smug little classmates. I am so tired of being shit on by high schoolers. You know what? I'm done. I'm done with this stupid rent-a-cop job. <laughs> just, just do whatever the fuck you want, Chloe. Whoa, Skip. Matthews, I've gotten reports of an unknown vehicle in the parking lot. Uh, oh, 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 oh that, that's funny. Cause I, I've, got, I've gotten reports about how your head is, is really far up your ass. Damn. Matthews. Skip Matthews. really lost it there. All right. Time to find Drew's. At least we can get in. All right, which one is, is Drew's room? Could Elliot be lamer if he tried? <laughs> Could Elliot be lamer uh, if he tried? Elliot Hampton's room. Wonder what he's up to right now. Thou shall not pass. Second, guys. Done. Look at that. Elliot does work really hard. I guess I'm happy for him. Yeah, you better be happy for him. He let you play, what's it called? Dungeons and Dragons thing. The world breaks everyone, and afterward, some are strong at the broken places. <coughs> Why does that make me sad?
Because it's a speech. It's a speech. It's been so long since Elliot and I actually went to a concert together. Creepy guy. Right. The creepy guy you wants to go out with me. Well, yay. Wow. I remember this show. Crazy that Elliot would hold on to this picture after so long. That's not half bad. Okay, dark. Who is it that Elliot's writing about? Elliot is way more artistic than I thought. <laughs> Wait, are these about me? <laughs> what the fuck, Elliot? He's gonna come in, he's gonna come in, he's gonna come in, I think he is. Elliot's mom that. seems nice. Like no. Warren Graham is such a nerd. <laughs> huh. There's way less porn here than I would have thought. Oh my gosh. How to tie a tie. Um his own name. Chloe, Chloe, Chloe. Tempest. Wow. He is obsessed. I've never been oh. able to get Elliot to play for me. I guess he's either really good or... I knew Elliot did well in class, but I didn't realize he was here on a full ride. Elliot's kind of preppy in his own way. Maybe he does... Maybe he does... Break a leg tonight. Oh, this must be things. Um, oh, it's hidden. That is really gross. I wonder what Max. Yeah, think. one second. I think that's. Oh, is that orange? Oh, I thought it was a what's it called? Um. <laughs> What's it called? Yep. Yeah. Uh, um, definitely Drew's called? room. Um, one, like a, there's like this thing. Basically, it's it looks like a Pac-Man from the sea. Um, Brave Wilderness is channel has done it. Type in Brave Wilderness Pac-Man and you'll see what I mean. I thought it was that. Good. But <sighs> Drew's not here. Okay. <laughs> if I were Drew, where would I hide my money? I'm gonna have to stop it here though and pause it. Um I'll start recording after though. I've just gotta go out. Um Yeah. Please subscribe because it's free and you're helping someone. Uh let's get this video to five likes. Thank you for watching and bye. Hmm.